Well, hey everybody, good morning. It's Janet Jekyll Bates, and uh, I want to take a couple of minutes to go through the dipping process today. So, this is going to be the Jekyll Bates quick tip of the day. Um, I've gotten several requests lately, and I see a lot of questions about how to dip KBS properly. KBS is a one coat non mix epoxy that's more frequently used in the automotive industry than it is in the custom lure making industry. But for the purposes of the video and all the questions I've gotten, specifically from Tong, I hope I've pronounced that correctly. Um, please let me know if I did or didn't, because uh, I want to make sure I get your name right. Um, they're going to be teaching kids how to properly make lures and coat the baits without an airbrush. So I wanted to kind of go step by step on how I do the process from making the uh, the wires to adding on to the bait to dipping to hanging properly overnight now this particular bait um, it's already a customers there was an issue with their bill so I'm doing a little bit of a repair job for them um, I guess it got dropped at some point so I have repaired the the bill but I need to reseal the bait so before I get started on the other orders from Black Friday Let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, now this happens to be a long bill. It's a replica of a shad wrap, a Rapala shad wrap. It is a plastic bait. It's already been painted and coated. The eyes have been put on, but the bill had to be resealed. Once the bill has been resealed, and I, I just used a, a, a simple, like a Gorilla Glue or a Loctite, any kind of epoxy super glue will work, um, but then you have to reseal it. You don't want the bait to look like doo-doo. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to attach, now this is a long bill, so we're going to attach one hook through the nose eyelet and we're going to clamp that together with a pair of pliers so that you guys can see that. And then because it's a long bill it's going to hang weird and one of the things that I've trial by error, I think we all go through that, as sometimes these have a tendency to hang and the wire touches the bill and then it fuses together with the epoxy on it. You don't want that. So one thing that I've learned over time is that you have a long bill that you're working with. Just take your pliers and bend that up like that so that when it hangs, it's going to hang like that. And there's absolutely no chance that that's going to touch your bill. It's going to hang straight. You're always going to want to hang the bait from the nose to the tail, from top to bottom. And then to keep all of the clear coat away from the back end and the tail of the bait, after you've dipped it or after we've dipped it today, we're also going to include a drip wire. Thank you Michael Ornstein, you've taught me a great deal over the years to the bottom so that all the clear coat is just going to run down and drip down this drip wire and away from the bait. It's going to give you a much better finish. You're not going to get gobs and lumps at the bottom as the bait's clearing. So let's go ahead and go to the next step. Now we got a clear coat. This is KBS that I've put into a glass mason jar. Actually it's not a mason jar on this one. It's a, a clean jar of Prego spaghetti sauce. Um, there's a couple things I want you guys to notice about that. Number one, I have plastic saran wrap separating the lid from the glass. Just like any epoxy, it's going to fuse if you don't store it properly. You don't want the fluid, the liquid in here, to harden over time. So you want to make sure you can get this as airtight as possible. Store it in a cool environment, not freezing cold. You don't want to go below 55 degrees and it really doesn't like to be in uh, anything above 95 degrees so hopefully you'll have an area that's well ventilated and that is going to be able to accommodate this in the temperatures that I've just described. Now the next thing we want to do is unscrew the lid and carefully dip the bait. Just 
remove that saran wrap. And this is a multi-use, but you want to also check it for tears because when you screw the lid on and off a number of times, it'll start to tear. And that's generally when you're going to get hardening of your fluid on the inside. Um, so make sure every time you take this saran wrap on and off that you check that. And it's fine for right now. We don't need to put a new one on. The process of dipping is pretty simple. You want to dip it in. You want to go slow. And remember, I clamped this wire together and that's so it doesn't pop off as we're dipping it down. And you want to get the whole thing in there, leave it there for just a second or so, you don't need to, but then as you bring it out, you want to bring it out slowly. And that's to keep the bubbles away from the eyes. Bubbles will have a tendency to form right here where the bill meets the bait in the eyes and as it drains away towards the bottom of the bait. Those would be the normal places where you'd get bubbles, but if you clear it slowly enough, you remove it from the liquid slowly enough, and then you take this, clamp it, just kind of let that drip down, and we're ready for the next step of our video. We're going to hang it. Now we're over here at our, our hang wire, and I've got a few of them rigged up around the workshop. Uh, you can see that in no way is this wire touching the bill of this bait. And you can see that this is doing its thing. It's dripping just like it's supposed to away from the bait. Super easy folks. All we're going to do is we're going to hang this bait for about 24 hours. And then you want to just come back over and remember we're going to put this on, push it down a little bit, get it as tight as you can, and then we're just going to reseal this. And that's how you dip a bait in KBS successfully. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Tom, really good luck. I can't wait to see the students finished products. You can see that this is a clear that's dripping naturally the way it's supposed to. And that's the Jekyll Bates Quick Tip of the Day.